Hi, Math Workshop. So, quick revision. So, uh, the first question that I want you to answer is how many cents in one dollar? How many cents in one dollar? That's right, a hundred cents equals one dollar. Now, if we've got, we know that piece, so what are some different ways that we can make one dollar? Now, this, when we do this, it has to be using the coins that we have. So, remember, the different coins we've got, we've got a 50 cent, we've got a 20 cent, a 10 cent, and a 5 cent. Now if you've got your coins from your, your shop game on Monday, and you can use these coins to help you out if you'd like. So, if I want to get to $1, how many 50 cents do I need? I want you to write that in your book now. So how many 50 cents do I need for $1? 50 cents plus 50 cents equals $1. So I need two 50 cent pieces to make $1. 20 cents. How many 20 cent pieces do I need to make $1? How many 20 cent pieces do I need to make one dollar? Twenty cent plus a twenty equals twenty plus twenty makes that's it. Forty plus twenty cent. Forty plus twenty is that's it. Sixty plus twenty cent. Twenty cent. Sixty plus twenty makes. That's it, 80 plus 20 cent, 80 plus 20 is, that's it, 100. Now 100 cents equals $1. A little bit of an easy one now, 10 cents. How many 10 cents to make $1? Remember last time, we yesterday we did skip counting with that. Um, you can probably do that quickly now, so skip counting to... How many 10 cents to make $1? 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. 10 groups of 10. 10 groups of 10 cents equals $1. And it's going to write here 10 times 10 equals $1. We know that that just means, that symbol there, the times, just means groups of. Five cents. How many five cents equals one dollar? How many five cents? Remember, we did skip counting, so it's five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, thirty, thirty-five, forty, forty-five, fifty, fifty-five, sixty, sixty-five, seventy, seventy-five, eighty, eighty-five, ninety, ninety-five, hundred. And that was two groups of ten, so twenty of them. Twenty five cent pieces equal one dollar. And here we're just going to use this, the time symbol. So 20 groups of 5 cents equals $1. Now, again, you can actually use your, your paper little coins that you cut up for your shop to do this as well. Now, that isn't the only way to make $1, though. You can also mix your coins together. So I could go 50 cents plus 20 cents plus 10 cents plus 10 cents plus 10 cents. Let's check what this adds up to. 50 plus 20 equals 50, 60, 70. Yep, 70 cents plus 10, 80 cents plus 10, 90 cents plus 10, 100 cents. And 100 cents equals... $1. Now today you've got an activity called Show Me the Money. And on this here it's got some different lines coming out. And what you're going to do either through drawing or writing show some of the different ways that you can get to $1 or 100 cents. You've got this other sheet, you've got two other sheets here uh, which are very similar. Now it looks like a lot but actually there's only six questions on each page. 
What you've got though is you've got information up here about what the prices are at this shop. So you've got a picture of an apple and a picture of banana. So what you've got to do first of all is look for how much does an apple cost. An apple costs 50 cents and I recommend actually writing that straight underneath that apple before you even forget it. And then a banana is 40 cents. And write that straight under the banana before you forget it. And the total price, so 50 cents, so the apple price plus the banana price, 50 cents plus the 40 cents. And here I can do my jumping on by 10, so I could go 50. I'm going to jump up 40, so 10, 20, 30, 40 would make it 60, 70, 80, 90. Or I might know that 50 plus 40 equals 90. Um, or I might know that 50 plus 50 equals 100, and therefore just 10 back from that equals 90. But the answer is 50 plus 40, 50 cents plus 40 cents equals 90 cents. What I want you to do for this one here is I want you to spend about 15 minutes. Now during that 15 minutes, if you can get this page and this page here done, fantastic. If at the end of 15 minutes you want to set a timer, you've just got this page here done, that's okay. But at the end of 15, cent, 15 minutes, I want you to, to mark it and check that you've been doing it right. Now, I hope you have a great day.